Morning Prayer for Wednesday the 6th of April O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, Your only Son was lifted up that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the book of Exodus, beginning at the first verse of chapter 9. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, the the God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, so that they may worship me. For if you refuse to let them go and still hold them, the hand of the Lord will strike a dead, strike with a deadly pestilence your livestock in the field, the horses, the donkeys, the camels, the herds and the flocks. But the Lord will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Egypt, so that nothing shall die of all that belongs to the Israelites. The Lord set a time, saying, Tomorrow the Lord will do this. And on the next day the Lord did so. All the livestock of the Egyptians died, but the livestock of the Israelites, not one died. Pharaoh inquired and found that not one of the livestock of the Israelites was dead, but the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he would not let the people go. Then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Take handfuls of soot from the kiln, and let Moses throw it into the air in the sight of Pharaoh. It shall become fine dust all over the land of Egypt, and shall cause festering boils on humans and animals throughout the whole land of Egypt. So they took soot from the kiln and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses threw it in the air, and it caused festering boils on humans and animals. The magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boils affected the magicians as well as all the Egyptians. But the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he would not listen to them, just as the Lord had spoken to Moses. This is the end of the first reading. Our second reading is from the book of Hebrews beginning in the 12th chapter at verse 3. Consider him who endured both hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. In your struggle against sin you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood, and you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as children. My child, do not regard lightly the discipline of the Lord, or lose heart when you are punished by him. For the Lord disciplines those whom he loves, and chastises every child whom he accepts. Endure trials for the sake of discipline. God is treating you as children. For what child is there whom a parent does not discipline? If you have not had that discipline in which all children share, 
then you are illegitimate and not his children. Moreover, we had human parents to discipline us, and we respected them. Should we not even more be more be even more willing to be subject to the Father of, the, of spirits and live? For if they disciplined us for a short time, as seemed best to them, but he disciplines us for our good, in order that we may share in his holiness. Now, discipline seems always painful rather than pleasant at the time, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees, and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be out of joint, but rather be healed. This is the end of the second reading. We come to a time of silence in which we'll pray for the world, particularly for those in places of war and terror, the poor in places where uh, they are struggling for clean water, for food, for simple health care. For those facing the dilemma of heating or eating. For our local communities. For the people we know and the strangers we pass. for our own day, for the things that we'll do and the people that we'll meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The Collect for Today Most merciful God, by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. (coughs) Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the power, the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ who bore our sins on the cross set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.